What's up guys, Carbs here. Today, we're gonna show you how to rice out your carb by making your own duck bill. Let's go! Uh, what am I doing? Hey guys, thanks for tuning into the video. Um, if you guys can see, I'm in a new room. I actually ended up moving an hour north just to be closer to our warehouse, uh, which has been working out pretty well because I've been able to get more done. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how we created our own uh, duck bill for the GR Supra. So I hope you guys enjoy. So these are some photos of our duckbill design in Blender. Uh, as you guys can see, there are no screw holes or rivet holes. The duckbill was designed to be attached purely using 3M double-sided tape. Uh, we then take the design and cut it out of foam on our CNC machine. Uh, this is what the foam kind of looks like once it's done being cut. Then we are able to put the part on the car and get a rough look of what the duckbill will look like. Okay, so Rich just finished up the first prototype of the GR Supra Duckbell. Uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So it's a little rough, but it's just for fitment and it's just out of the mold. So we're still gonna refine it and everything, but this is just to get a general idea of what it'll look like. Rich is taping up my beautiful car so we don't completely ruin it, even though we're eventually gonna ruin it, but it's okay. Right now we have the Supra all covered up so we can protect the tail lights and the paint from the fiberglass and the epoxy. Um, we have the part that we created from the foam and now we're just going to be making it sit really flush with the OEM trunk. That way all these edges line up and it fits how we want it to. Uh, right now we're making the bottom side of the duckbill because we essentially have the top side. And that's what this fiberglass is for. It's pretty cool. So that's gonna get laid on top of that. And we'll be able to put the two sides together and have a whole duck bill. So oh, this is what the fiberglass looks like now that it's all laid on the trunk. Um, you guys can see the outline of the actual duckbill right here, the black marker. Um, so again, the reason we're doing this is because right now we have the top portion of the trunk which gives the duckbill its shape and the look, but uh, this is the bottom portion so that the duckbill can actually mount onto the trunk. Um, so once this is all done drying and stuff, we can pull this off and merge it with the top portion of the duckbill, trim it up and we'll be good to go. So yeah, this is kind of what our process is when we're creating uh, fiberglass parts. Um, and the way we get our fitment right is we physically mold off the OEM part. So this way, when the duckbill is all done and finished, it'll sit perfectly with the trunk and not have any stupid gaps. So everything went well. I'll show you guys the car. The wrap idea paid off. So it didn't, Look, it doesn't look like it damaged the paint at all. The tail lights and the paint look all look good. Uh, you see why we put on the wrap? Because all the epoxy and the fiberglass would have damage, would be on the paint. But luckily, it's just on the wrap, so we could just tear this off. This side of the duck build turned out amazing. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Rich did an amazing job. There's Rich. <laughs> so yeah. So now we have. So Rich just painted everything. We have the top part that was previously black and then we have the most arguably the most important part which is this whole underside which is that is directly from the fiberglass that was put on the hatch so you can see here it's really important we get that so all the fitment and stuff of the parts oh, of the part would be on point Truth.
Dang. Dude, that sits great. There's no gaps or anything. Dang, you're a pro. <laughs> Whoa. That's really cool. Wow. Dude, I can't wait to... It, you know, even a color match duck bill would look really good. Yeah. Right? It doesn't have necessarily have to be carbon. But this angle right here, how it like swoops it back. Like that. It's pretty nice. Cool. Yeah, this isn't even mounted on anything. It's sitting flush. There's no tape or anything. So Rich, what do we got here? Got a super duck bill. So this should be, this is like the first uh, production version. So I'm gonna put it on my car and double check everything. But we just mocked it up real quick and it looks pretty good. So I guess this line is the key feature of the duck bill. Yeah. And you can tell from the back too. Okay, so the duck bill is done. It looks really sick it rounds off the whole rear as you guys can see there uh, the best angle in my opinion is right here it just makes the rear end swoop back like that it looks super cool and then from the back it's super aggressive as well you guys can see that yeah so let me know what you guys think I'm really happy with how this turned out um, like I can't wait we want to make this in carbon and or have this one paint matched. Um, I don't know if I'll run it on my car for a long time because I would planning on running our GT wing instead, but this looks super sick. So who knows, maybe I'll just run this for a time being. But yeah, let me know what you guys think.